take a quick look at how to launch a U12008 data logger. We first plug it into the computer with the USB cable and then go up to device and down to launch. As you can see, we found it here on the USB port. Hit OK and your launch screen comes up. Initially, you're going to get some information about this. You have your serial number, the battery life. The description is something that you're going to want to change to something that makes sense to you. Uh, this will also follow through as a part of your file name. We have the different channels on the on the logger. You'll see that they're actually numbered on the unit. This comes up as a default, all four units being checked, including the, the battery voltage. What you'll want to do now is begin to set this up. So on channels one and two, I've plugged in my TMC 50 HD temperature probes. So we go down to the drop down menu and in both cases we'll select this. On the third channel what I have is uh, one of our CT's amperage sensors and I actually have a 100 amp sensor plugged in so we'll come down here and, and check that off. I have nothing on the fourth channel so we're going to turn off the fourth channel and I typically turn off the, the loggers battery voltage uh, because it will allow you to log for a longer period of time. In terms of changing your logging interval, uh, as you can see, you can increase your logging interval. As you increase this, you're going to see that your logging duration will increase as well. So we'll move this up to five minutes, let's say. So you can record for approximately 50 days with three data channels. In terms of your launch options, you can launch it right now, but typically what I do recommend is either doing it at the next interval because it's going to give you the next five minute increment or you can set it up for a particular uh, date and time so you know let's say you need an hour to get up and install it and you don't have a laptop on the roof you can set this up so this will begin recording uh, you know let's say at, at noon time uh, today the other option is there is a push button on the unit you can set it up so uh, you'll push that when you get out there but I'd, I'd probably go with one of these these two. From here basically we go down and select the launch button. This is going to start the logger. It sends the information out to the unit and you can now unplug your logger. The launch was successful and you should be good to go. Okay, if you want to confirm that your logger is working correctly out in the field, you will need a laptop. Plug your logger back in, go up to device and down to status. This will find the logger. You hit OK and here's a status screen so it'll show you both your temperature measurements as well as your current measurement. Uh, I do not have this hooked up to anything on the current side of things right now. It'll tell you how much memory you've used and what the battery level is. When it comes time to read out your U12008 you're going to plug it back into the computer select device and go down to readout. Again hitting OK. It reads out the information it's going to ask you to save your data file, which I'm going to save it on the desktop. It's then going to ask you what you want to plot. So we're going to plot all three parameters here that we measured. You hit plot, and we get a graph of what's happened over that period of time. In this particular case, it's not that exciting because I was just recording here on the desk. From here, there's a couple things we can do. Besides being able to print your graph, you can export your data. So we're going to come to File, down to Export, and what this is going to do is then save this as a CSV file, which can be opened in Excel. So we're just going to export it again. We're going to save this to the desktop. And just to confirm that we have the file here, here's the CSV file. We double click it. It's going to open it up in Excel. And as you can see, you have all your, your data points and what your, your readings were.